I'm gonna show you how to sew woven labels into your t-shirts just like this. So there's a few things you need when wanting to sew woven labels into t-shirts. The first thing you're going to need to do is know how to sew on your sewing machine. If you don't know how to sew, we made a tutorial on how to sew, so check the playlist and we'll leave the link in the description of that tutorial so you can learn how to sew if you don't know. If you do know how to sew and you're ready to go, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need to get some woven labels. This is our woven label. It's one that flips over and this is the other side of it so you only sew to the top of this one there's other ones where you could sew all around the edges we've done those before too and i'll show you that and the other thing you're going to need is size labels so you could order these online you just do some research just do some research custom woven labels size labels and get some stuff that fits your brand and what you like but these are the two things you're going to need i'm going to show you how to sew over the top one and then one that's rectangle so here we go let's check it out right now so here's our sewing machine. We have the Brother LX2375, and you could do this with any sewing machine or by hand, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up right now. See, we got our materials ready. We have our woven labels, our size labels, a couple pins. This is, this is very important, you need these. Also, what you're gonna need is some thread that matches your shirt color. So get some thread that matches your label and shirt color. Our labels are black, so we have black thread. And on the bobbin, we have whatever shirt color we're gonna use because this thread is gonna be shown on the other side of the shirt. So if you have a white shirt, make sure you load up your bobbin with a white thread. If you have a yellow shirt, yellow thread, you know, you know the deal. But always keep the label the same color and the shirt the same color as the thread, make sure. So this is our new shirt that we just dropped right now. Now, after we print, we always sew our labels in. So you have the label right here, and this is the label. And there's two things now. Nowadays, sometimes these labels are easy. You could just tear them out. This one's a tear out. But I'm going to show you how you could pick, uh, cut it out as well. Uh, for most of the part, you could honestly go right in here and clip these little, clip these little threads and then pull it out, which leaves some thread. But usually, I personally like to just cut it. I just like to cut it because I don't want no loose threads after pulling this out and I don't want to cut all the threads open. So I just cut it right off and then you can barely see it at all. So here we go. I'm going to show you that right now. All right. We're all set up now. Now we're just going to pull this. And like I said before, this one's a tear out. You could literally just pull this out or you could pop the threads. But I like to just pull it up and cut it out like this. Pull it up and just cut it out as close to the edge as possible. You don't have to... You don't have to get too close, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have your own label on there and you're not going to be able to even see it. So see, look at that. Cut it. Now you can't see the label. It's gone. No label. Make sure you remember what size that you cut off and keep this nearby. But here we go. No label. There it is right there. Boom. No labels on the shirt. Now we just got to pin our label on there and then sew it. So there are two ways to sew the labels in. The way we do it right now is we are sewing the top of this label and it opens up like this and the size goes underneath. The other way is this way. I'm gonna show you that way first. And this is the way you're gonna have to stay till the end till. So we sew the label, the woven label onto the size label first before we sew it into the t-shirt and then we sew all around the edges, but I'll show you this way at the end. If you wanna see this way, stay till the end. First, I'm gonna show you the way how we sew it on top. So now we have our size label and our woven label together right here, and we're gonna pin them together. We're gonna to put them together like this, and we're gonna align them first. So we align it right here in the middle, and after you do this for a while, it gets so easy. So after you do 10, 20 of these, you'll do one no problem. So there we go, we align it in the middle right there, we get it and we make sure this label itself is aligned nice and centered and then we just put it pin through right here put a pin through the middle right here and now now we have our size label pinned to our woven label and now we're gonna pin it on the shirt like I said and the, this is a little tricky but after a while you kind of understand how it works so now that we didn't cut the thread out now we know where the middle of the shirt is gonna be so this is why I also don't cut the thread out of the labels that were ready in the shirt so now this is about the center and we're gonna pin it just pin it through the shirt just like that pin it through the shirt and what I like to do I like to line it up with the top of this shirt the stitching at the top of the shirt some people like to put it underneath but I like to make sure it's aligned and make sure it's sewn in completely if you do it another way it might not be 
boom, like that. Now you have your labels pinned onto your shirt. This is what the back looks like. And there you go. And just play around with it until you get it aligned perfectly across the top. This one's pretty good. I like it. I think it's good. And we could send it and put it through the sewing machine now. We're going to turn our sewing machine on and we are going to get to sewing. So this is really simple and really easy once you know how to sew. If you don't know how to sew, go check out our tutorial. And we're just going to line it up with the top of the shirt right here. I'll show you right now. Boom. Just line it up like that. And to make sure your needle is going right along the edge. So we're going to try and sew as close to the edge as possible on this stitch right now. And start it off nice and slow. You got it lined up nice and slow. Make sure you back stitch. Make sure you back stitch, very important. And now it's lined up, and now we can just go nice and slow across the top. After a while, you're doing this, you get faster and faster. Get more used to it. And just go nice and easy. If you don't know how to sew, watch our tutorial. We're gonna back stitch at the edge, and what I do, I'll show you what I do. There's a little trick, a little trick from me for when you're doing it like this with the woven label, uh, size label in the back. I like to go over here and just do a nice, nice stitch along the bottom, look a little bit lower than the first one, make a nice line across the top right there. And I, I'm picking up the footer with the handle back here, so I could go backwards while I use the pedal very lightly. And now when you get to the end, finish it off with the back stitch, and you're ready to go. So if you have any questions about how I do that, just ask me in the comments, I'll help you out. So here we are. Here we are, we're gonna pull it off the table, take our pin off. Next part is cutting the threads off. This is very important, guys. Don't forget this part, you, you know. Throwing the threads off the front. Everyone always remembers the front, right? Yeah, all right, cool, cool. All right, what about the back? Yeah, cut the back threads out. This is important. You don't want no threads hanging loose. You look, you'll ruin everything. You know what I'm saying? It ruins everything. And it gives you five years bad luck. So there you go, I cut the threads off. And here we go. There's your first woven label sewn on top. And there's our label underneath right there. Nice and tight, fits perfectly. Looks good, looks dope. This is really dope. All right, guys, so this is this way. I'm gonna show you the other way right now. All right, guys, so there it is, the finished label in the shirt. This is what it looks like finished. Damn, look at that, nice, so sick. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the other way to do it. So if you want your size label hanging down like this and hanging off the edge and you wanna sew all around, I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. We grab the test shirt and we're gonna sew it on and show you the way to do it. So let's check it out right now. Now that we got our labels together and you wanna put your size label underneath, I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. So you're just gonna line this up, try and get it in the center. As you can see, this is what it looks like in the back. You try and put it as high up as possible, as high up as possible, like that, and center it. And once you center it, so it looks like that. Once you center it, you try and feel in the back with your finger where the top is. Then you try and go as high as possible and put this pin through. Boop, like that. It's tricky, so it's gonna take some practice to get used to. So now, now our pin is through here. So now we're gonna wanna pin it back through and make sure it's straight. Now it's pinned on. Like that. You're gonna sew along the top here. Then we have our label here. Let's check it out right now. We got our label set up. We're gonna put it in the sew machine. I like to hold the footer up a little bit to give it some room so it doesn't snag and get caught. So I hold it up right here. As you can see my finger right here holding it up. And I like to hold it up a little bit and go very, very slow. Very, very slow doing these. You don't want to snag and get caught. So hold it up a little bit, not too much. Now we're gonna back stitch. Try and get as close as the edge as possible. And there we go, here we go. All right, now we're gonna lift this up. Unpin it. 
There we go. Now we're gonna cut these loose threads off. And now we have our label sewn on. This ain't going nowhere. Perfect. I mean, you could put it a little straighter. I haven't done this way in a while. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I usually do it the other way now. So if I wasn't filming this, I would make it straighter. But it seems pretty good. It seems too pretty good, not too bad. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so now we're gonna sew this on the shirt. All right, so now that we got our label set up, we got our blank shirt, we cut the cut the tag out, and it depends where you want to put this. If you want to put this down here, then you can just pop this stitch and get rid of this whole label. So if you go underneath here, you could actually uh, pull this up a little bit, and you could see where the stitch is, and just pull the stitching out, and then you won't have that label in there anymore. Or you could do it, put this up to the top, because you're gonna sew over it anyway. So you can put it up to the top. This is what I would I would do personally like that and you just line it up to the top and now you have it pinned on and set up make sure it's aligned and straight so for this one we're gonna sew all around the edges so same way same tactic pretty much sew along the top and then we're just gonna sew around the edges if you know how to sew you already know what's going on here make sure you backstitch backstitch when you get to the edges the corners that's what I do to go backwards and to make sure it's aligned right then you just twist the shirt around sew along all the edges make sure you spread it so it doesn't get curled up depending on how thick your woven labels are you might need to spread it out flatten it make sure it doesn't get wound up in the machine and get crunched. Backstitch a few times at the end, and there we go. Now we have the finished product. Take the pin out. Now we have the other way of doing it. Could have made this a little more straighter on the size label, but I, I think it's pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Now we're just gonna cut off the threads. And there you go, finished product. Now this is a sewn on label. You don't see it in the back because we use the same thread color as the shirt and the bobbin, which always do, make sure you do that. And there we go. So now I showed you guys how to sew labels onto shirts. This is the way we do it right here. And the other way is another way if you want to do it this way as well. So that's both ways how you do it. This is our new shirt that we just dropped. What a funk, unexpected t-shirt, check it out. But we're really excited. We are a clothing brand. If you're not sure what a funk is our name. So check us out. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Check out our tutorials. We have a playlist of a bunch of tutorials. So check it out and learn more right now. Somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. You gotta find it. What a funk. Check it out. We love you. Peace. Whoa!